What's up guys, and in this video today, I'm going to show you how to set up Citra to connect to Pretender Network on any supported game, including the vanilla version of Mario Kart 7, without the involvement of external mods such as CTGP7 for example. By the end, you'll be able to use the friend list on Citra and match with players on actual hardware as well. Before we get started, I'd like to give shoutouts to Eru70 on GitHub for making the guide we're going to be following today, and MrGamer2 for letting me know that this is possible at all. Without out of the way, let's get started. First thing you'll need is a modded Nintendo 3DS family system with God Mode 9 set up. Any system in the 3DS family will work with this. Also, make sure you have Citra installed if you haven't already got it. First of all, you'll need your system's AES keys, as these will be important later. Download the dumpkeys.gm9 file from the link in the description and then copy it to gm9 slash scripts on your SD card. You're also going to want to get the CT Cert Dumper tool as well. Download that and save it to your SD card's 3DS folder. On your system, make sure you can boot into God Mode 9. When you're in God Mode 9, head into the SysNand CTRNand folder. In there, go into the RW folder and then the Sys folder. In there, you'll see four files. We'll only need two for this example. Local friend code seed and secure info. The A will be at the end, doesn't matter. Press A on the local friend code seed file and copy it to GM9 out. Do the same for the secure info file. Once you've done all that, press the home button and then select scripts. Select the dump keys script option. The keys should dump automatically. This will be saved as aeskeys.txt in the GM9 folder. Now turn your system on, go to the homebrew launcher and load CT Cert Dumper. You'll get a message on the screen indicating it was successful if it worked right. Exit the application, turn off your system and remove the SD card. On your PC, insert the SD card. The CT Cert.bin file should be visible on the root of the card. Copy this file to somewhere on your computer. Then go to the GM9 folder and then copy the aeskeys.txt file. Then go into the out folder and then copy the local friend code seed and secure info files to your computer as well. Remember to not share these files with anyone as these can identify your system online. Another thing to know is if you're connected with Citra and then if you connect to the system you dumped files from, the machine running Citra will be disconnected and vice versa. Now on your computer, you're going to want to go to your Citra user folder. Where this folder is will depend on your setup and operating system. In my case, it is the app data folder. In that folder, go to the sysdata folder and copy aeskeys.txt into this folder. Now, open Citra and go to emulation, configure, system, and you'll see fields for the files you just copied. Choose the files for the corresponding areas for the local friend code seed, secure info, and CT cert. Once that's done, you're going to want to download the system files from Nintendo servers. On the drop down box, click Old 3DS and then select the region your system is from, then click Download. This will take a few minutes, so be patient. Once it's done downloading, you're going to do the same thing, but change the system to new 3DS. Keep the region the same. Once everything is downloaded, you can close the settings and you should now see the system titles appear in Citra now. The last step to getting online working is to enable the LLE service modules. Go to View, Debugging and click on LLE service modules. A box on the right should appear. You'll see a lot of options, but the ones we need are SSL, BOSS, ACT, CECD, DLP, FRD and NIM or NIM. Once those are enabled, go to View Debugging Toggle LE, LE Service Modules again and the menu should go away now. Now one last thing before we need to go online is we need Nimbus. Download the CIA version of Nimbus from the link in the description and copy all the contents to the SDMC folder in the Citra user folder. Create this folder if it doesn't exist. In Citra, go to File, Install CIA, and install the Nimbus CIA file you downloaded. 
Then go to File, Boot Home Menu, and choose the region you downloaded. On the Home Menu, unwrap the newly installed Nimbus app and open it, and on the menu that appears, select the Pretendo option. You should then be returned to the Home Menu again. Then, go into the Friends list. If it asks, create a me character. Then go back into the Friend list. And you should have a friend code assigned to you if you did everything correctly. If you did get a friend code, congrats! You've successfully connected to Pretender Network on such an emulator. You can then connect online with Mario Kart 7 or whatever game you prefer and match against other Citra users and others who are playing on actual hardware. Obviously, the games you can play are limited to whatever Pretendo currently supports and if you're a supporter for their service, as some games are locked to supporters only, usually games that aren't far developed yet. You can check the list of supported games on their website or in their Discord server. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time, hopefully. Bye.